Hi there, Richard Rice here, PGA Golf Professional, coming at you today with a quick tip on why you might be struggling to hit the draw shot. Before we get started today, I want to make sure you understand some simple ball flight laws, and that's club path and club face and how it affects the flight of your golf ball. When we look at club face in, in general terms, the direction that the club face points at impact is going to dictate the direction that the ball jumps off of the club face. The club path in relation to the direction the face is pointed is going to dictate spin. So for example, if we have a club face pointed right at our target at impact, but a path that's moving left of that club face, we're going to have a ball that spins out to the right and misses our target right. So a bit of a fade or a slice if you really hit a bad one. Today I want to talk about why you might be struggling to get that club to travel from the inside in order to hit a proper draw. Why do people struggle and why might you be struggling to swing from the inside? Uh, simply it comes down to club depth. And what do I mean by that? And really we're looking at hand depth. This would be a lack of depth. This would be some good depth. All right, again, lack of depth, good depth. What creates the ability for us to get into a good position to have good depth on our swing? It all starts with a proper pivot into the backswing. We want to make sure that we're making a nice full turn so that our hands can get far enough inside so that the club can naturally travel from the inside to hit that proper draw. How do we get there? All right, you have to understand that your, your pivot into your backswing starts with a good setup position. So simple setup position, we want to have our butt kind of over our heels. We want to round in the back to get the armpits over the balls of the feet. That gives us the most range of motion to be able to pivot into the backswing. From there, you have to understand how the pivot works and you have to understand all the moving parts. So your pivot actually starts in your lower body and it starts with the extension of this trail knee. So as that trail knee extends, it gives the ability for this hip to move back around. As that hip moves around, it gives the ability for the torso to make a nice full turn. Here's an example. If I don't move this trail knee and I try to turn as far as I can, that's about as far as I go. As soon as I extend that trail knee, you can see me turning past 90 degrees pretty nicely. So make sure that when you turn into the backswing, you're extending that trail knee, you're turning that trail hip behind you so that your body can make a nice full pivot and get these hands coming from the inside. So if we do all that right, it should look something like this. What we're going to make sure is that we get into a nice proper setup position so that we can make a nice full pivot into the backswing to allow our hands to travel far enough inside at the top to make a nice simple draw swing. So that started out to the right nicely and it's drawn back. It's going to stay about ah, 10 feet right of my target. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. I appreciate you coming by. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel as it helps me immensely. I appreciate you coming by and look forward to seeing you next time.